Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Bacteriology series. Today we will be looking at Acinetobacter. That's a Cocobacil rerod. But before getting into the video, I'd like to tell you guys that these videos are meant for educational purposes. Things and treatments may change with time. If I get wrong or miss anything, your input is always welcome in the comments section. Grab a pen and a notepad and let's get started. Acinetobacter is a gram-negative small cocobacillary rod. Cocobacillary has got two words in it. First one is coccus, that is sphere, and the second one is bacillary, that is from bacillus, which is for rod. So this bacterium is somewhere in between coccus, the spherical shape, and the bacillus, the rod shape. It is aerobic. You can memorize it by saying like aerobic has got A in its beginning. Same goes for acinetobacter. Acinetobacter is an opportunistic pathogen, which means it readily colonizes patients with compromised host defenses. It is responsible for causing ventilator-associated pneumonia, indwelling catheters pneumonia, and urinary tract infections. Acinetobacter bomani causes infections in humans. Acinetobacter has got many other species, but this one is specifically responsible for causing infections in human beings. This is how Acinetobacter looks like under the microscope. A big thank you to TrueLearn who are kindly sponsoring today's video. TrueLearn is an incredible online exam preparation resource for exams like USMLE, COMLEX, NCLEX and others. This platform is built for medical students, nurses and professionals. Getting started is quite simple. All you have to do is to click on the link in the description. This is the beautiful website of TrueLearn. Here you can check their plans and choose the one that suits you buy that and use my special coupon code medzukhrof at the checkout to get an exclusive discount on their plans. After that, log in. This is the TrueLearn's amazing dashboard. For creating the test, click the create test right there. Give it a name, choose a time limit, select if you want a tutor and also the difficulty level. Once you're done, just hit start test and ta-da! Your test is ready. Read the questions and select your answers and see how you did. If you got it right, awesome. And if not, no worries. TrueLearn explains the answer very well. So, if you're interested in signing up on TrueLearn, click the link below and don't forget to use my special discount code MEDZUKHROF at the checkout. Sign up and enjoy. Lecture outline. We are done with the introduction of Acinetobacter. Now we'll be looking at its morphology, habitat and transmission, pathogenesis, lab diagnosis, treatment, prevention, and at the end, as usual, we'll review the lecture. Morphology. As we've said earlier in the introduction section that Acinetobacter is a cocobacillary rod. It is pink colored. Why? Because it's gram negative. It is non-motile. This is how Acinetobacter looks like under the microscope. Habitat. Hosts. Human beings are its hosts. It is also found in soil and water. Transmission. The infection is caused in cases of uh, having indwelling catheters inside a human body or having respiratory therapy equipment because these external devices increase the risk of having Acinetobacter infections. That's why the infections caused by this bacterium are named after the equipment, like ventilator-associated pneumonia, indwelling catheters-associated pneumonia. Pathogenesis. This opportunistic pathogen, the Acinetobacter bomani, it colonizes immunocompromised patients and it causes diseases in hospital settings like in patients, as we've discussed earlier in transmission, having indwelling catheters or other respiratory therapy equipment. This bacterium is antibiotic resistant. Lab diagnosis definitely will need samples, samples like blood, sample from the site of infection. Then we'll go for microscopy. And on gram staining, this bacterium appears to be gram negative because it's pink colored and it is cocobacillary in shape and culturing this bacterium on blood agar plate 
let's just diagnose it. As you can see it right there, its colonies are circular and white. Treatment. As I've said earlier, this bacterium is antibiotic resistant. So the drug of choice for the infections caused by susceptible strains is imipenem. Cholestin is useful in carbapenem resistant strains. Imipenem is the drug of choice for infections caused by susceptible strains. Prevention. There is no vaccine. The only way to prevent it to remove the devices from the body. All right, everybody, let's have a quick recap. The organism we discussed today is Acinetobacter. It's responsible for causing UTI, the urinary tract infection, and pneumonia, the ventilator-associated and catheters-associated pneumonia. Mode of transmission, it is transmitted via devices. Hosts are humans and it's also found in soil and water. Diagnosis is based on gram staining, microscopy, and culture. And for treatment, we'll go for imipenem and cholestin. And that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any suggestions, feel free to leave them below in the comments. And I'll catch you soon in the next video. Till then, assalamu alaikum.